to my channel today to talk about character dining, particularly as an adult. So, character dining at Disney World is basically when you make a reservation at certain restaurants, you can have breakfast, lunch, dinner with a few of your favorite Disney characters. So there are a lot of restaurants around the parks that offer this experience for you and it is probably one of my favorite experiences you can have at Disney and I highly recommend it to everyone. So I'm going to talk a lot today about character dining more at Disney World as I don't have as much experience at Disneyland or any of the international parks. So just so you know, but I do know I'm pretty sure every park offers some kind of character dining. I know Disneyland does. Again, I don't know as much about the international parks. Um, but again, so mostly in relation to Disney World, but I know this is something you can experience at most of the parks. So basically character dining is, like I said, where you can go and have breakfast, lunch, or dinner at certain restaurants with any of the, not, I shouldn't say any of, with some of the classic Disney characters. There's some that are for princesses, there's some with the Fab Five, so Mickey and the gang. Um, there's some that are... Uh, Winnie the Pooh has one. There's the new one of the newer ones, which is Bon Voyage Breakfast. That one is with uh, Ariel, Rapunzel, Flynn, and Eric, which is kind of special because you don't usually see the, prince, the boys around very often. So, basically, yes, there's lots of options. You can do breakfast, lunch, dinner, at most places, not every place, uh, Be Our Guest has a dinner with the Beast, but he's only available at dinner. He doesn't meet for breakfast or for lunch, just for dinner. And yeah, so they're typically table service meals. I shouldn't say that they're not typically, they're all table service meals. So on the dining plan, they are, most of them are one table service credit. There are a few signatures that are two, uh, mostly Be Our Guest or Cinderella's Royal Table, and some of the dinner shows as well. So, although I'm not really sure if that character dinner show is still going or not. It may have closed. I'm a little rusty. Um, but basically, yes. Yeah. So basically, character dining is by far one of my favorite experiences at Disney. And I highly recommend everyone try it at least once. Whether you go with your kids or by yourself or with friends or parents or whatever. Uh, give it a, At least give it a try. You may discover it's not for you. But it's, like I said, it's my favorite thing and I do it as often as I can typically. So as far as character dining as an adult, it's definitely something that people tend to think of more for kids. Just because uh, you can meet the characters without necessarily having to wait in line and you also get food in your kid at the same time. That's usually fairly decent food. Uh, some of the character dining does leave a little bit to be desired food wise, but most of it is still really good. And like I was really I had heard horrible things about Chef Mickey's for dinner but I actually had pretty decent food there and it ended up being one of my favorite meals of the trip last time so don't knock it till you try it food's a very personal thing everyone likes different stuff I'm a fairly simple eater I don't like anything too fancy or crazy so a lot of the character meals are great for me um, food wise because it tends to be a little more kid friendly food which is something that just appeals to me but may not appeal to all adults so again personal preference like I've said a lot and I said in a lot of my planning sit and chat videos a lot of it comes down to what you want and what you're comfortable with so basically the main theme of today's video is character dining is not just for kids adults can do it too adults can enjoy it too uh, don't be afraid and think like oh I'm going as a solo adult or I'm going just with my friends or I'm going with my, my you know I'm an adult child going with my parents don't feel weird about going into a character meal as adults at all because it won't be uncomfortable it won't be weird no one will make a big deal out of it when I was at one of my character meals last time I was at the Bon Voyage breakfast and there was a group of like probably 24 like 10, maybe 20, early 20s, late teens, early 30s, maybe at the oldest, probably barely, there was like 10 guys in there. And they were fawning over Flynn Rider and it was hilarious to watch. So don't be afraid of going to check out the different dining, the character dining as an adult. It's just as much fun, the characters will have just as much fun with you. 
and the, I sat, you were sat next to me and we basically had a snuggle on a couch <laughs> um, at Crystal Palace last time I went. Uh, Flynn Ryder sat and ate breakfast with me and probably talked with me for like five minutes. It was great. Um, there, it, uh, He taught me how to smolder and don't be afraid of it. The characters aren't going to treat you different. No one's going to treat you different. Everyone is too involved in their own little worlds to look at you and see that you're an adult solo or otherwise at this place that's supposed to be for kids. I mean, I shouldn't say that. There may be people that notice. No one ever said anything to me if they noticed. And not that it really matters because I was doing what I wanted to do. And that's what matters. So basically, yeah, don't let it get to you. Don't get in your own head and be like, no, that's just for kids. It's not. It's for anyone who wants to do it. Uh, as far as Disney is concerned, if you're willing to pay for it, they'll let you in. <laughs> Bottom line, that's the truth of it. So, basically, don't be afraid of it as an adult. Do it, definitely. I've never felt uncomfortable sitting in a character meal before. Um, there's been little, like, five-second moments that have made me feel uncomfortable as an adult meeting characters or doing a character meal, but... Never the overall experience, and it's usually just quick little things, and then once you clear it up, it's you're fine. I guess it, de it does depend, though, again, like how comfortable you are with that situation and the possibility of it happening. Um, for me, it's just something like, yep, no, I'm a solo, I'm, you know, I'm here just to have a good time like everyone else, or, and most of the time, they really don't care. They more just want to make sure you're having a good time than they actually care about the fact that you're alone. Or just an adult in general. I'm still thinking solo trip. I filmed a solo trip video just before this. So I'm kind of split focus a little bit. Um, so the only thing I have as far as character dining tips, I guess, for adults is occasionally the interactions will feel rushed. You'll meet, you'll run into a character who may be in a hurry that day or, you know, whatever. Uh, so sometimes it will feel like they kind of just like rush past you, brush past your table. Um, I, the only, I've only had an issue honestly with that at one restaurant and it was just, it was weird because it was the first eating of the day so I thought it'd be super organized but it really wasn't. It was kind of a mess and it actually wasn't only my table that got skipped, like a whole line of us got skipped. Um, so I don't know where the timing got off there but something weird happened. And, but it was fine, you know, whatever. And, like I said, not a big deal. It wasn't even a very big character that I got missed by, so I wasn't really gutted by it at all. Um, but yeah, so basically, yeah, I've never, I don't even know what else to say, honestly, other than just do it. And don't feel uncomfortable about it. Uh, if, if you, if you can. Some people just can't. You just, it's just, like, ingrained in your head that it's uncomfortable. And that's okay, too. Uh, but don't be afraid of it. So the one piece of piece of major advice I wanted to share with you as far as adult care well I guess oh, hold on back it up one one more thing. Autographs. Character meals, they do autographs if that's something you're interested in. I did it two trips ago, I did autographs. This last time I did it. I don't think I'll do it again. I think I may be through my autograph phase of my life. Doesn't mean I want to meet the characters any less. Doesn't mean I still don't want to get pictures with them. Doesn't mean I still don't want to go to these restaurants that I really, really like. But I think I'm through the autograph thing. But having done autographs as an adult, if you're comfortable doing autographs as an adult, then, yeah, then do them. It's no nothing weird is going to happen. They're not going to look at you funny because they wanted autographs or whatever. And then, yes, yeah, so my... Last little bit of advice I wanted to leave you with, obviously this is a little bit of a shorter video, but like I said, it comes down to if you're an adult and you're doing character dining, do it. Um, again, it depends how comfortable you are with characters, all that kind of stuff, but there should literally be nothing stopping you from doing it. So I want to end this video with my favorite character meals that I've gone to as an adult. I have done most of my character dining as an adult. I've done most of my Disney trips as an adult. I only did two I did one as a kid and one as a teenager. I did character dining on the one I did as a kid because that was a family trip. I didn't do any on the one I did as a teenager because that was a school trip and that we couldn't do that. So basically this is you know my favorite places to go 
and maybe some places you should look at and they're a little I would say they're a little quieter generally too as far as character meals goes they're not necessarily the most popular ones so you may feel a little more comfortable doing them as an adult if it's something you're just looking to try for the first time so my first recommendation is actually not in the parks at all it is at the boardwalk resort and it's the bon, bon voyage uh adventure breakfast so this one is ariel rapunzel flynn and eric which is just fun because like i said the boys aren't around very often the princes aren't you know you can't really meet them anywhere else and I had such a great time with actually Rapunzel and Flynn. They do this cute thing. A lot of the character meals, they'll do something with the kids. They'll bring the kids out and let them parade around with the characters or, you know, stuff like that. Um, do a little dance with them, something. But this time, it's... It, it, this one is a little more adult, I think. They do a whole little thing with I Have a Dream from... Rapunzel they do a little dancey thing with her and Flynn and they walk around but it's not like oh we pull up the kids they just walk around to each table they have a little dancey thing that they do and then they walk around to each table and just like ask people like what their dreams are kids do get this little like paper that they fill out so they have to like write down what their dream is beforehand um but like they just walked up to me and we just had a conversation about what my dream was which I'm not going to share with you but um basically yeah we just get to you know it's a little more of an adult situation, I think, than some of the other ones. Uh, like, um, compared to, like, uh, the one in Norway, the, the Princess Breakfast in Norway, I think that one's just, I know, I think that is all day. But the Princess, the Royal Dining Hall in Norway, um, that one is a little more kid, kiddy, I guess. Like, the princesses, like, pull the, the little kids out and, like, walk them around, um, with little flowers and stuff. And then, like, same thing with, like, Ohana. They have, like, this little dancey thing. But this one, like I said, is a little more, like, you just kind of chill at your table and they do all the work for you. Although, it is a very small restaurant, so that may be why as well. My second favorite character meal is Garden Grill. This one also a little bit more adult um, in terms of they don't really do anything real special. But it is kind of fun because it is a rotating restaurant. You do not feel it. You will not get motion sick. Unless you like, maybe, I mean, maybe if you like stare at the wall or something, you might get a little disoriented. But for the most part, you're probably not staring at the wall. So you're probably fine. Um, and it is cool because it does go above living with the land. So there is part of it where you see it living with the land, especially if you sit on the first floor, not the upper floor. But the character interactions at this one I have found are always fantastic. I've done this one twice. I've never had a bad character interaction at all and 100% recommend my one of my favorite character dining stories comes from here I was there and Mickey and I think it was Dale because it's Mickey Pluto Chip and Dale who are the characters you see there and now I can't remember which one it was but it was one of the chipmunks totally walked up behind Mickey and gave him a wedgie and it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life and still very much a highlight of, of anything that I have done at Disney like I don't think I'm ever gonna forget that <laughs> I do have pictures of it too I just don't have them to put in the video but I maybe if you pop over the Instagram today maybe I'll have it up there um but yeah so basically that's definitely one of mine again a little more adult they don't do any it's a very a very very small restaurant so they don't really do any like dancing around or anything like that but like and you'll usually get to see the characters multiple times it takes about an hour to rotate all around it is a family style dining experience so they just bring you a platter of food uh, which can be a little hard on your own like solo wise uh, it is quite a bit of food but I'll admit I did pretty good at eating it <laughs> um, when I was there solo last time so again it's up to you but definitely pretty up there the food's good the character interaction like i said is good it's a nice small restaurant so it's not super overwhelming and it's just a good time it's that's a good one um my other favorite one is crystal palace it is the only character meal where you can meet Pooh and friends it's the only place to meet piglet and eeyore uh otherwise i believe you can still meet Pooh and tigger over by the winnie the many adventures of winnie the pooh ride but it's a great place if you are a Pooh fan, and many adults that I know are. So, 
it's a it again it's good the food is not the best necessarily but it does again tend to be a quieter restaurant it's beautiful inside there um inside the restaurant and like I said a fun interaction with Pooh and friends and they're all so cuddly and nice <laughs> so um yeah that's always a good one like I said a little simpler choice and then my last recommendation would be Hollywood and Vine this one is last on the list because I feel it's a little bit hit and miss um and it really just barely made barely made the list of favorites because I actually do have character meals that I probably like more than this um, but of one that I would go to again and again, it, this is pretty much my like returning list of places that I go almost every time I'm there. So that's kind of why it's here because it's one, I like to do it with the Fantasmic package, uh, the Fantasmic dining package. And it is a good time. I've always had very good character interactions there. Uh, there's all, you know, it's always been fun, but the food can be a little hit and miss. The other fun thing with Hollywood Vine is that especially the night, the mini dine that happens for lunch and dinner. So in the morning they have a Disney Junior bot, like dot play. I think they call it play and dine. And um, they have a lot of the Disney Junior characters. So if you do have a young kid, that might be a good time. Or I don't know, maybe you're just an adult who likes Disney Junior. A couple years ago I probably would have done that, but I loved Sophia the first at the time. I'll admit it. <laughs> But she doesn't meet there anymore, and I'm not as big of a fan as of the current characters they have there. So, um, like Doc McStuffins, I don't even know if she's still there, because I know they were talking about getting rid of her, but she's probably the only one who I'd have an interest in right now. But, so I prefer the dinner, and again, you can do that as the dining package. So, basically, you can go and... I, yeah, so you go in and you can uh, also use it for that. For the phantasmic viewing special area but the food can be a little hit or miss here again character interactions are usually great um with the, the dinner is seasonal it's called mini seasonal dine so it does rotate throughout the year so you can go different times at different years and see different things the food also rotates seasonally which is kind of fun um the food here is definitely a little more adult um which i think maybe sometimes why it's not necessarily my most favorite place I know the first time we went for my in 2013, we went to Hollywood and Vine to try it, and I wanted to do uh, Fantasmic, and it was great. We loved it. I was like, "Holy cow, new favorite restaurant!" Then we went in 2017, and when I went last year in 2019, it wasn't as good as I remembered it being. So I just don't know about that one. <laughs> um, I'm not quite settled on that one per se so it's it's okay but like I said I think it's a great adult one because the food's a little more adventurous than some of the other ones and yeah and I actually just thought of another one that I didn't put on my list that I should have and it probably should have been number one uh Tusker House at Animal Kingdom is probably and is yeah you know it is probably it is is actually my favorite of all time uh character meal so the food is really good, the characters are really good, the restaurant is a little loud, which may have been why I didn't quite meet the criteria for this list, but the restaurant, like I said, the restaurant is really loud, and the aisles can get a little skinny as far as getting pictures with the characters and stuff, but it's still really good, and all the dungle juice you can bring, drink. Like, seriously. The last time I was there, I was there solo, and she brought me two, like, pictures, like, big things of jungle juice and I drank maybe half of one but seriously like all the jungle juice you can drink and like I said the breakfast is really good I have not tried lunch or dinner but that is also a character meal if that's something that interests you and yeah I could have I don't know how I forgot that one <laughs> you can also book it as a rivers of light package too if you feel so inclined so basically that's that that's the video that's all my tips for dining solo again to review just do it it's the theme of all my videos. It's basically just do it. If it's something you want to do, do it. Um, and it's within your reasonable, you know what I mean. Um, but yes, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And have a Disney day.